Marist Brothers are a group of individuals dedicated to working with youth, but dedicating to living a life of community, a life of prayer, and often those areas become questions that young people will ask about. One of the things that I learned from young people is that you just have to be yourself and you have to be real because young people can see right through a, a, any kind of facade or any kind of uh, fake behavior. So I think young people call us to be who we are. It's, it's really hard not to feel comfortable with the Marriage Brothers. They bring people together and they bring they have that sense of community inside schools, and anybody that goes to a Marist school, they just have that sense of family and the sense of community. Like I went to Roosevelt Catholic, and it's just, everything was based around here. This was kind of like, anybody, anytime anybody got a chance to go come up to a SOPIS, that was like the greatest thing ever. You see all hearts on Facebook, a SOPIS, big capital letters. It's just, it's just really a great place. It's just a great environment to be in. A SOPIS is a wonderful place um, for people who come here, it is magical. There are great things happen in our retreats, in our camp programs. We have people ranging in age from 20 to 70 who live together or interact in a variety of ways. Uh, we have our novitiate here. In addition, we have a community for young adults. We have young adults who commit to service for a year. And we have young adults who, who just come up because they need some time away and a time by themselves. I personally feel that since I've been up here, I know I've impacted kids' lives in one way or another, just you know, either being there and listening or talking and giving advice or just being someone that they can look at and look up to and that they can see that there, you know, there is other young people out here doing stuff with the Marish Brothers and having a religious life and it's not all about you know, the cars, the money and the clothes. And, all that stuff. So I just, I really just enjoy working with people and working with kids. It's a great place to do it. When I, I think back even of my own journey, that the only way sometimes you will know if God is calling you for this or if God is inviting you to this way of life is to try it, is to seek out, is to, to speak with brothers and others uh, to see if this is really where God is leading you. The novice coming to the novitiate here in the SOPIS comes as a brother uh, and is immediately welcomed as an equal in the community. Being a brother uh, happens day one from the beginning with help, but uh, there's an equality that goes on throughout the novitiate. I'd say that I'm extremely comfortable with the brothers, but just on the level of people to people, we're a very warm group of men, caring, humorous, passionate about what we're doing, and welcoming. One of the privileges I've had in the Brothers is uh, serving as novice master for the last few years. I would say it is a brother walking with a brother. It's the opportunity of being with someone who is discerning their vocation, probably to be a brother, but not necessarily. It's being with them in their questions and their understandings of what it means to be a brother. It's living with them in community, it's spending time with them. You need a little bit of flexibility to uh, become a novice. I think a sense of humor helps. And uh, a person needs perspective. We're not saints, we're all struggling together trying to do uh, what God has asked us to do. I would have been willing, especially in my uh, initial enthusiasm, to just dive in and get going. But I realized more the value in taking time to grow into it, uh, to develop the skills necessary for living this life successfully, for developing in prayer life, developing in community. I think it's the most formative part of the novitiate is actually living as a brother. It's an opportunity to see, is this for me? Uh, do I get energy from this? Am I able to give something to the other people? I would say today uh, we primarily meet the mission of, of St. Marcelin through the school ministry that we do, uh, through the summer camp programs for disabled children, uh, and really just interacting with young people wherever they're at. What I love as a teacher is when I've got a student, doesn't matter what age, who doesn't think he or she can do it, whatever it is, and you prove them wrong. 
That's what I love. And so in terms of ministry, that's what I hope to do regardless of where I end up, is um, help people to see options where maybe they hadn't before. The Maris brothers are men for whom the world is not large enough, that there are enormous opportunities of service, uh, of community living, um, that I think can uh, reach that, that what I tend to think is a, a basic need in our, in our hearts and our souls to try to find God. I get a request to consider going to Rwanda. Now this is 1995, right after the genocide. And I thought, oh my gosh, they must be crazy. Am I not doing a good job here that they want to put me on the front lines and uh, get rid of me or something? So here I am thrown into the, the middle of this trying to teach English and religion full schedule. It's probably the best apostolate job that I have ever done because it has had such a long lasting effect on, on the students that I taught many of whom are in this country getting further education, the people who are still there in Rwanda, and what it's done for me to open my mind to life outside of the United States. Part of what we value in, in our Marist world is that we approach this together. It's not just the brothers who are about the mission. And in many different ways, we're all Marist, we're all experiencing the same kind of Marist life and we come together in different ways for community. If any student can get a chance to come up here and really come on a retreat, it's something that I would completely recommend because it's such a great experience. Nobody's an outcast. Everybody, no matter who you are, where you came from, what's going on back at home, they're here and they're here now and it's just, that's all that matters and it's just, they just, everybody just has that connection and just, it's just, it's really great to see. It's contemplative living, actually. It's uh, seeing God moving in the community, in my heart, in my uh, desires, and trying to respond to that. We're not looking for saints. We're looking for human beings who want to uh, be brother to other people.